those are the moments that you remember most. The most unbelievable experience in my life, really. The only time I've ever cried in a football pitch. Everything was just perfect. Samat's birthday, Sir Bobby in the crowd. Everything was just perfect. I've always said that there'll be never anything in my life that will make me feel like that celebration did, that night did. Great managerial judge of time added on. Wants the whistle to go. And now, it does! It was 20 years ago, almost to the day, that Manchester United made history by becoming the first and only English side to win the treble. The proper one, that is. Not one that involves the League Cup. That season saw United come back from the brink time and time again as teams like Liverpool, Arsenal, Spurs, Juventus and of course Bayern Munich almost ended United's dreams. Almost, but not quite. History is made. Manchester United are the champions of Europe again. The one recollection I have, and it was, the, it was the, the, probably one of the greatest memories that I've ever got, is, is Dean's game. When we came down Dean's gate after winning, forget the game, forget the goals, forget everything. It was coming down Dean's gate at the end of the bus tour there must have been half a million people there. The season had many twists and turns. New big money signings arrived in the shape of Jesper Bonquist, Yap Stam, and of course Dwight York. It didn't start well for the Reds though. A 3-0 loss in the Charity Shield against Arsenal made it look like it was going to be a long, long season. After a strong, if unspectacular run in the league, the Christmas period proved difficult for United, taking just seven points in six games, dropping down to fourth place back when fourth place was actually a pretty bad thing for United. It was in January though that the season really kicked off. It was all thanks to a win in the FA Cup against the Scousers at Old Trafford. Sit down Pinocchio. The win over Liverpool seemed to galvanise the Reds as Fergie's men went on an unbeaten run that lasted the entire season, even beating Nottingham Forest 8-1 with a certain Ole Gunnar Solskjaer coming off the bench to score four goals in 11 minutes. He studied the game and you know he come on and influenced the game from watching it from the bench. In the Champions League, the Reds went marching on, navigating the group of death that included Bayern Munich and Barcelona before dispatching Inter Milan in the quarter-finals. San Siro went scores yes. he scored and, and you know what, if you think about that, we'd, we'd, we'd won the first like 2-0 yes. I think it was. Yorkie got 2 didn't Yeah, Yorkie got 2. Pete had made a great it's save from Zamorano. And we'd gone there and, and Ronaldo had got back fit yes. and Baggio was playing and, and they scored, yes. uh, Bert, I think it was Nicola Berti scored. Yes. Me and Scolzi came on, I was I came on the left wing, Scolzi came on in midfield and Scolzi scored the goal. I never forget the celebrations, all the all the Man United fans behind the goal, my mum and dad was there, my wife was there. That that night for me was, was massive, the San Siro was the pinnacle for me. That set up a semi-final clash with the old lady. But first, there was a small matter of Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. And after a draw in the first game, it went to a replay. So here we go, the favourites for the FA Cup against the holders. One of the greatest games a competition has ever seen, so one of the greatest goals we've all ever seen, as Ryan Giggs did something truly magical. It's past Vieira, past Dixon. It's a wonderful run from Giggs! Was the treble actually on? First though, there was a small matter of Juventus. And after a one all draw at home in the first leg at Old Trafford, United went to the Stade de Alpe needing a win and things got off to a pretty ropey start. I'll always look back at that treble year, I was probably one of only 100 people, probably 150 who went to every round, yeah. the prelim. But for me, the night in Juventus, you know, he's up against a world class yeah. team, Phil. For me, if people say to me about the treble, that always, I say, the semi final. You're going 2 0 down in Turin, I was at fault for the first goal, scrambling after in target at the back post. It's all over me. No one's thinking we're going to win this, ever. The formidable Zidane, Herlock, all of them, you're just thinking. Oh, here we go again, Juventus, they always beat us. And then, flip and switch. Roy Keane, with one of the greatest performances I've ever seen, stepped up and helped United to win 3-2 on the night and go through on aggregate 4-3. Full speed ahead, Barcelona. The treble was beginning to look more and more like a possibility, but league titles don't just fall into your lap. First up came the small matter of Spurs on the last day of the season, with United and Arsenal neck and neck. Some sceptics expected Spurs to just roll over because, after all, no Spurs fan wants to see Arsenal win the league. But far from it, Spurs gave United a real tough test, even going ahead early on through Les Ferdinand, before David Beckham equalised and Andy Cole got a winner set up by a certain Gary Neville. 
typified what we were that season, sort of never, never say die spirit, throwing everything at it till the end, never giving in. Won so many games that way in that season. One down, two to go, and so it was off to Wembley to face Newcastle United in the FA Cup final. That week leading up to it, obviously, you got told you weren't playing in the cup final, but there was a bigger game ahead. I was always watching the FA Cup with my dad, and it's a big thing in my, my family and my household when I was a kid. Um, watching St. Greaves in the build up to the FA Cup. So it was a disaster move for me, but then I understood why I wasn't involved. It was a bigger picture on the Wednesday. Um, it was obvious Keeney and Scores was going to play because it was suspended for the next game. So you just got to get on with it, wish the lads the best, and be around it, and then flip forward to the next game. The double had been achieved by United for the third time in five years. A phenomenal achievement, but something even more special awaited in Barcelona. You know, going from 1 0 down. Fast forward, Teddy scores. Oli scores. The only time I've ever cried on a football pitch. It's very special when you're playing for your local team, which is obviously the biggest club in the world. What we did in that week, it was unbelievable. Probably the greatest night of my life and uh, the greatest 10 days in history. The treble was won. Alex Ferguson became Sir Alex and United etched our name into history yet again. All thanks to a late goal from a certain Norwegian striker. I wonder whatever happened to him. <laughs>